Hey everybody, welcome to J Stern Designs. My name is Jennifer and welcome to 2020. Um, I have a lot of fun things planned for my YouTube um, channel this year. I have a lot of different projects I'm working on so um, I'm really excited to share with you guys. So to kick things off, I'm going to start with a really easy DIY jean skirt project. My daughter Abby is going um, to Puerto Rico on a spring break kind of um, trip. Well, actually, I think it's Christmas break. And she asked me if I knew how to make a jean skirt. And <laughs> every time she asks me questions like that, I kind of roll my eyes because, I mean, I know she knows what I do. But um, anyway, so she brought me over a couple pairs of jeans, and we looked online at a bunch of different places, at different stores for the kind of jean skirt that she wanted. And honestly, I was a little bit disappointed because it's your very basic um jean skirt that's really easy to make and i'm not i'm not um disappointed because of that i was just disappointed because i've made a lot of fun skirts that have a little bit more to them um you know i was kind of hoping she would like something with a little embroidery on it or you know applique or different techniques so um, first let me show you a couple of the skirts that i've made in the past this first skirt is um, a skirt that i made for myself and um, I used a pair of jeans that were way too small for me. And the way you can tell they're way too small is I actually had to add a three inch gusset um, from the waist and then down to the hem. It became a go-day down here. So, you know, this is a great project if you have a pair of jeans in your closet that are too small because you can make them bigger by cutting along the side seams and then inserting a you know, a strip of denim down the, you know, down the side. It doesn't even need to be fancy. You could just make it a plain strip with none of this fancy dance on it. Um, but then in the back, I did um, sort of a center back seam that opened up into this godet down here. And I call this a cathedral window because it's basically... Um, you know, the, the split in the denim creates this window, and then I made this tiered pleated insert for it, which is kind of fun. Um, and I also did a bunch of machine applique. I did embroidery. Um, you can see here, there's more embroidery going up the side on this side. You know, and it's very asymmetrical. It's very, um, you know, really fun. Um, if you're interested in making this, this, type of skirt, I do have a step-by-step -step workbook in my online store. I'll put a link to this workbook in my in the description of this class. And then here is another one that I made. This one is just, I was totally just practicing my new embroidery designs at the time. These are actually now very old. I made this skirt probably almost 10 years ago now, or even longer than that, probably 12 years ago. Um, these are my own original embroidery designs, and the cool thing is I am revving up my digitizing, and I'm actually going to launch some embroidery designs um, in the near future, and I started playing with some new embroidery designs, but I think after hauling the skirt out, I'm going to sort of remaster these, and I'm going to launch these, so, um, you know, if you follow along with me, check you know, and you're into machine embroidery, these will be available within the next um, month or so. So that's another of my favorite skirts. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. So you can see why now when Abby said to me, oh, can you make me a jean skirt? I'm like, oh, can I make you a jean skirt? Like, I definitely can. And then when she showed me the pictures of what she wanted, she wants a very basic skirt. So that's actually an amazing project. Um, for anybody really, a beginner sewer all the way up through an experienced sewer because it's sort of an instant gratification project. The nice thing about doing a jean skirt is you don't have to do any of the hard stuff. You don't have to do the zipper, the waistband, the belt loops. All of those things are going to stay um, put from the original garment. We're just going to cut open the legs and make jeans into a skirt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just get it zipped up and laying nice and flat. And I'm going to use my ruler. This is my 18 inch ruler. And I'm going to measure from the waist down 
to the leg and I'm just going to use my chalk to draw a little line where 18 inches is. Of course I'm using blue with blue. Um, and actually I think I can even be brave and use a green sharpie marker because I know we're going to be shortening it a little bit. So this way you'll be able to see. All right, so here is where I'm going to cut off. Um, so that's our first step is to cut this off. And I'm just going to use a sharp pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut right on the line I drew. Okay, now to get the other leg to match, the easiest way to do that is to fold your jeans in half like this, making sure that your side seams and inseams are matching so everything's laying nice and straight with each other and then literally I'm just going to cut along the edge. If you want to mark it first you can but really um, that's how easy it is. All right so here's how our um, jeans look now. They actually look like shorts. This fabric here in this lower leg, don't throw this away because depending on the length of your um, the skirt you're making, you might need some or all of this. Um, for a short skirt, we're not going to need very much. I'm going to show you how we're going to use this in a minute. If you wanted to make, let's say, knee length and you cut it at the knee, you would use the fabric from the knee to the hem to fill in the space once we cut this open. So. I am going to cut the whole inseam from hem to hem. And notice this has a, this is a flat felt seam. So I'm gonna use it as a guide to cut. And I am simply going to take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut right up against the seam. Like this. So see what I'm doing is I'm leaving that whole seam intact like that because we're going to use that detail in our final garment. And I'm going to cut straight across. Okay, and I'm just going to cut straight along here. Now I'm trying not to cut the folded edge of this flat felt seam. If you nick it a little bit, don't worry though, because you know with your distressed denim, people you know, have holes made on purpose or different things that distress it. It just adds character to your garment, so don't worry. All right, so now what we have is we have shorts with no inseam, okay? The next step is we are going to cut right along the um, front crotch as well to the base of the zipper, okay? The reason why we want to do that is because we want to allow it to overlap like this. So that's how you get that shape um, that you see in the stores. Okay, now see how that kind of looks like it's a store-bought skirt, kind of, if you just look at this part right here. All right, so that's the front is all prepped now. Let's flip over and look at the back. Now the back is a different story. We want to take this seam apart because we want to use that fabric to um, sew it back together. If we cut it off, we might not have enough fabric to close it back up, especially if when you put your jeans on, they're snug fitting. Like Abby tried these on for me yesterday and they're snug. So I know I need the fabric that's in this flat felt seam to sew it back together to make a skirt. So unfortunately, there isn't any super quick way to get this done. I like to work from the inside and basically pick these heavy stitches away. Um, every, you know, other jeans might have um, a finished edge with um, like a five thread stitch. Like see, this is this is how the one I took apart looks. See how there's a lot more stitching going on here? They actually finished the edges and sewed it together with a five thread. Then they top stitched on top of it, which made it a lot harder to take apart. So if your jeans look like this, 
you really want to just pick away at all of this from the back first. This one's a little bit um, more simple because the flat felled seam is, is folded and it's top stitched down all in one step, so there's less to take out. So actually, if your inside looks like this, it's going to be much easier. So basically, I'm just going to you know, pick this away with my seam ripper, and then once you get it started, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Let me just get it It almost takes as long to take this seam out as it does to like almost finish the entire skirt. So you do have to be patient on this one step. The rest of it's really quick. All the other steps go together very fast. So as you can see, this takes a little bit of time. You wanna take it apart all the way to the, where the waistband starts. We're gonna take the belt loop off. When we put the belt loop back on, it'll hide that little you know, where it started to become a flat felt seam. To take out this belt loop, all you do is you go in the back on the inside and just dig out that stitching. And you can usually get it out in one or two passes of your seam ripper. Once you cut all those, those bobbin threads, then it's just really easy to take this apart. So you wanna take this belt loop off, just the bottom of the belt loop. And then you wanna take that center back seam out all the way up to the base of the waistband. If you're working along with me, um, get to that point and then join me because what I'm going to do is show you um, how the finished seam looks after you take it out and then I'm going to show you how to put it back together and make it a skirt. So here's the back that I already took out. Okay, so here's my belt loop and I took it out right up to the base of the waistband, basically, all right? And then the next step after that is you wanna get all your threads. So you wanna pick all your threads away, which I almost did that already. And then you wanna give it a nice, a nice flat press. So I, I just pressed it with the iron so it lays flat because it'll be all folded up from being a flat felled seam. Okay, so see, I'm just going to press that nice and flat. I'm going to lay it down so that the edges match. So the goal is to make a straight line that blends in with the top part of this seam. You basically want to cut off this little curved part of the center back seam. So I'm going to use my chalk liner here, and I am going to... Just chalk in this line like that. It may be hard to see, but basically you want to test it because, um, first of all, remember you need some sort of seam allowance. So I started about a half an inch away from the raw edge. And I'm just going to pin these two layers of fabric together along the line I drew. See, the nice thing is you can test it and see if you like where this is before you cut it off. Don't just cut on the line. Um, you know, try it to see if you like it first. I want to pin, so I'm also going to sew right up this original seam, but I want all of this dark to be in the seam allowance, not on the outside of my skirt. You know, I'm just continuing straight along here until I can hitch myself up with, you know, the original seam over here because I know these jeans fit Abby the way she liked and there really wasn't much extra so I don't want to take any extra off. Alright, so what I want to do now is let's look and see how it is. I'm going to turn it right side out and let's look at it from the top side first, I mean from the front. So if I leave that like that and I overlap this like this, you can see that that's laying nice and flat. Okay, so that means the amount that we overlapped here um, works proportionally for how much it's closing in the front. So that's how I know it's okay what I did here. Okay, so that's all right. Cut, so I have like a half an inch seam allowance along my pins. And if you want to mark this, you can, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut. 
and I'm just going to cut until it blends right in with my original raw edges. So see, now you can see that my center back seam has a slight curve to it, but that'll work out perfect because there's it's curved out up here where Abby's butt is, and it's straight along to the hem down here. This is what we're going to want to fill with some of the extra fabric from the leg and create a, um, a triangle for that. And the triangle edge, we're going to want to finish those edges so they don't ravel. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut a piece. So I'm going to put this fabric underneath the denim. I'm going to close it like this. Okay, and you want to make sure everything's laying nice and flat, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my chalk marker, and I'm going to mark from the inside of the opening. Okay, so I know that's what shows. And I'll use my ruler to just mark across the bottom just so I have that, like this, okay? Now I can create the piece we need. So let me move this out of the way. So we want to make sure that we have enough. So I want to be generous. So I'm going to give myself an extra, an extra half an inch should be plenty. So I'm going to make sure that I have plenty by adding an extra half an inch like this. Okay, and then at the top of my V, instead of it letting it become a V like that, I'm actually going to go straight across here just so it's not like out of control. Okay, and I know I don't need to add anything down here because um, that was the hem. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut this out on my line. Okay, and so depending on your jean skirt, the shape of this V-shaped opening, you know, could be very different from what I'm showing you here. It just depends on how you know, your legs are shaped on your jeans, really. All right. All right, so now I'm going to get my serger out, and I'm just going to finish some of these edges so they're ready to sew. All right, so now you can see it's nice and tidy here. Um, and really, if you had used a zigzag, that would have been fine, too. So that's all done. And then the front, you can see I did this part here. 